So today we're going to talk about creating class rosters. So um, this is not an easy process. And I actually have a document that I'm going to copy and paste from. Uh, and I would encourage you to do the same. You can find a link to this document uh, in the description of the video. So first of all, we're going to go to system reports. Once you get there, you're going to scroll down quite a ways <clears throat> until you get to student staff listings. Once you get there, you're going to click on class rosters. And so if you want rosters for every teacher in your school, you can just hold down shift and select all of the teachers. Um, for this, I'm just going to grab one teacher. And then I am going to check all of the periods. Keep in mind our training server is a four block um, alternating day schedule. So I'm just going to check them all. Moving on down, this is where it gets kind of complicated. And so um, on the document, it kind of guides you through what you can put here. I'm going to go ahead and put 18 as the size of the font. Um, and then I am going to put in some heading fields and I'm actually just going to copy because this is kind of some complicated uh, code and I'm just going to paste it right here. Um, what this is telling us is that we want something at the top of the page centered and bold that says class roster as of and it has the date. <clears throat> if that's not something you want, you can take that off. This is also going to give us a teacher name, period, term, students, and course. And uh, this is something if you don't need these things, you can get rid of them. What you see over here before the colon is going to be just plain text. And then the field name will be pulled from your data. All right, I'm going to go down a little bit further, and now we have to put in our roster columns. So depending on what you are wanting from your rosters, I am going to copy and paste and add this information. So this is going to give us the amount of kids in the class. It's going to give the student's name. It's going to give their ID number and their grade level. Now, there are other things you can put in there, <clears throat> like you needed their home phone number. If I wanted home phone number, I could put this as another column. Um, if I wanted um, like an emergency contact name, I can go here to fields and you can do this with any specific field that you need. I'm going to say um, emergency and so I'm going to choose emergency contact and maybe that's the phone number I want is that emergency contact phone. So I'm going to type emergency and get emergency phone one. And so I am going to actually grab this code and put it right here at the end of that particular line. And then I am going to put, um, let's see, contact. And then I'll put the slash one slash L. Okay, so I am going to get rid of home phone just because I think for the most part, emergency contact and emergency phone number. So this is going to give us student name, number, grade level, emergency contact, and phone number. If you wanted all this on the roster, if you simply wanted the students' names, you could just leave it as student names. Um, a few other items that you may need to adjust uh, are these items right here. You can play around with these and find what works best for you. I'm literally just copying from this document and um, because I think it looks pretty good. And so uh, other things <clears throat> I'm going to include on the margin is just a half inch margin on each of these. So the good thing is after I do this, it is going to hold all of this data and I can um, kind of print it out again, play with it, test it out, print it out again, and find out what works best and what looks best for me. All right, so I am going to submit this, and we're going to see what kind of roster we get. 
Um, I always tell people my best advice is to right click and open a new tab. So we open in a new tab. This is what my roster looks like. Now I might want to play around with this. I think the font being 18 is way too large for this. So I would adjust that. Um, but this would give me their student ID number. It's going to number the roster. Um, put the students' names, contact information, and phone number. Um, I do like that bit of code at the top that gives us this information right here. Um, and notice it's got a different um, roster for each of that teacher's classes. Um, so moving forward, I'd probably change the font, make it a little bit smaller so you could probably fit the roster all on one page. Uh, so hopefully this will help. And like I said, I will put a copy of the document in the description.